So I just picked up this um, Pit Boss wood pellet grill. It's more of a, a portable grill, but it is digital. You know, I like everything digital and I like to consume a lot of things. But it's Memorial Day around here and basically my smoker died on me last year and I wanted to find something that will be comparable to a smoker but not have to deal with all the charcoal and things of that nature. But this is a pellet grill which you can smoke with. I've seen videos and other stuff on YouTube which uh, has me excited about it. But one of the things that I do like about it that is ultra port portable so that if we go out camping or if we go um to a park or whatever we can just pull this out i know there's an electrical component to it i can probably bring my generator or whatever to be able to um use that to be able to feed for the um, pellets to come through i've never had a pellet grill before i've always had either a charcoal grill or a gas grill um or an electric smoker so um i've since abandoned a lot of the charcoal stuff so probably the last five years but this will get me back into that realm of um, charcoal, the flavor. You can't beat the charcoal flavor. Um, uh, and I can say that being a gas guy. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up. And if there's any assembly that's required, go ahead and assemble it and get it going so you can see what you think, what my thoughts are. And I'll show you the results after I put my ribs on. And um, I may just put ribs on this and put the chicken on the grill. So hold on. And there are several versions of this um, Pit Boss portable grill, uh, wood pellet grill. And this is the Walmart version. I wasn't able to get the Target version, which was at, on sale actually for $155, which would have been a steal. But this one was $197 at the time of shooting this video. And it just looks a little bit different. But it, I'm glad to see that it looks like everything is all put together for me. So I don't have to worry about assembling too much. Maybe you have to do the legs. So it looks like there is some assembly that will be required for like the handles and also the footing and also the, the side that catches the uh, used pellets. So let me run through that really quick and get back with you. Okay, so I got it on the ground. Well, not the ground, on my deck for right now. I'm going to get a stand eventually. So I got my pellets in there. I probably could put a few more in there. But I'm ready to get this thing going. So let me close this right quick. And it's say get in a smoke position and let's try to get it heated up. It's hard to see in this direct sunlight. So one second. Okay, so I got it in the smoke position. Let's see if I from I think that's everything I need to do for right now. Let me see because I hear the fan going. Let me see if it heats up for me. Okay, let's see. So according to the instructions, I gotta hold the... the primer button until I can confirm that the pellets are going into the little bin here. So I'm holding the primer. Heard something. And according to the instructions, you have to do this every time. Uh, so the first time, and also if you run out of pellets, there it is, I heard something go through. So I think that's the way to get it, some pellets in there, make sure that the opening is, um, the motor is working. So I'm hearing some of the pellets go in, now you're probably not going to be able to see it. So I think I'm good to go. So I got my meat on there, you can probably see some of the smoke coming out the back. Now... And don't judge me, 
but I didn't feel like cutting all the ribs up. So pretty much I'm going to see how it goes if it put too much meat in there. So we'll see how this goes for three hours. I'm going to check on it and then see if it needs any more uh, moisture. Let's keep it closed and hopefully we have a good result when it's done. Okay, let's see what we're looking at after three hours. Okay, looking good. If you can see that. So it looks like our temp is still at 225. Got to close that lid real quick, but I think we're looking pretty good so far. So everything looks pretty clean, and over here I got a little oil coming out. But yeah, this this is this is looking awesome. I just got finished ordering a stand um a stand for this so i'll be able to have that sitting up on the stand for my next time so we're going to close this back up seal it up all right okay let's see what we got put it on there for another Ooh. i will let you know what it tastes like in a minute 